Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Field of Glory 2, the campaigns of Mithridates. As I said at the end of the last episode, we're fighting the Romans today, but before that, we have to get rid of some of our army uh, and garrison some of the towns that we captured after that last battle victory. Um, so like last time, I think I just kind of want to go with quality. I only have to get rid of... Um, 212 of these guys so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of any javelin horse I'm sorry any horse archers um, they were pretty garbage in uh, the the battles and so I don't really think it's gonna be worth my time so and the good thing is that'll take care of a lot of what I need to do so now let's take a look at type we've got quite a bit of cataphracts noble answers um, we have two javelin horses. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that javelin horse anyway. And then in terms of these units, we only have three uh, missile units, so I don't want to get rid of any of those. Um, but given that we have a lot of um, these guys, 44 and 47, that's fine. I'm going to get rid of them as well. And um, I detect, you know, I, I put more than the minimum for the detachment, but that just means I'll get more reinforcements. So I'm not too worried about that. And now, like I said, um, we are going to fight the Romans, so let's get that going. Now, with the, the Roman battles, I find that the AI is pretty good, um, and so they're going to exploit a lot of weaknesses. And the big problem with the Romans is like it was in history, where if they get through your line of phalanx, they're a lot more able to kind of move around the battlefield, and then I'm not able to counter that as much. Um, so, you know what, I'm going to keep on doing what I've been doing. Um, rather than choosing <laughs> my army, I like the challenge and the kind of variety that comes with auto-fill. Um, and then in terms of auto-deploy, so what's kind of nice is I have a ton of cavalry now. And I'm not like super happy about the, the chariots, to be honest. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I hate the chariots. Um, so, but you can see why they chose them because I only had a certain amount of, of uh, troops. I'm pretty happy with this. I've got imitation legionnaires, so maybe I'll do. Um, no, I've already done that. Can I do a war band? But then I have seven left. Hmm. I mean, the ideal obviously would be able to do a, a pike phalanx, but. Let's do a war band. Yeah, I think that's fine. So that'll kind of help offset some of that. So, okay, perfect. So let's accept that. And before we get going, let's take a look at the battlefield. So there's some, um, some tracks, a built up Roman town, or just a town rather, some rough terrain. So I want to make sure that my cavalry has a lot of area to grow on. This is all rough ground, hills, garbage. Um, it's not a good battlefield for me, to be honest. Um, so let's get these javelin men. I'm just going to go straight to the edge here. Let's just try to get all the missile troops out of the way here. And then here are some horses. Um, I'm kind of putting as many of the horses as I can over here. Um, and the reason for that is because there's actually, like if this is the enemy front line, this is gonna be the open terrain once I get out of the woods and I'll have some maneuverability. Um, and so to that effect, I'm actually going to stick a uh, sub-general over here another one to help there. Um, and then we're gonna use our commander in chief on this flank. So three alpha pike phalanx, imitation legionnaires. I don't want these imitation legionnaires there. I want them to be able to move around. Javelin men are garbage. And so it doesn't make sense for us to keep those out of the way. Okay, I feel good about this. Alright. 
so as suspected over here on the left flank they have well, I guess it's my right flank um, they've got a lot of missile troops but I have the cavalry and they're severely disordered in the woods so I gotta get them the F out of there <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and run out and kill not bad eastern archers let's just stay in the woods seven okay could be worse and then let's move these guys out of the way six all right well not ideal but could be worse so let's move these guys up keep them up oh my god okay and then let's get these guys further okay so still severely disordered but I'm getting them out of there now you guys actually not let's move everybody I gotta get them out of that stupid hill so they're not all disordered everybody is steady you can move up here And then because no one's even over here, as far as I can tell, um, we're in a good spot. All right. So my line's actually just about as wide as the Roman line. And my cavalry is going to be pretty key in being able to maneuver there. Um, I also think I'll be able to hold off. See, these are slack Roman legionaries. Roman legionaries. Okay, so what's good is because the slack Roman legionnaires are on, well, let me turn. So they're on my left flank, these slack legionnaires, which means that this is a good, good spot to be able to push. Um, Manius Aquilius is over there, that's commander in chief. So ideally I'd be able to sweep up here kind of push these guys back, like whatever my cavalry can push them into the woods, whatever. Um, but then if I use my pike phalanx on these guys, or even on some of these better legionnaires, um, but I'm able to utilize them, that's excellent. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going forward too, because this is rough terrain and it's gonna hurt with my cohesion. And, um, I just don't want that. If I could shorten the line and have more reserves, I would. Okay, because there's three opera, three opera. I'm not sure how to pronounce them, to be honest. I guess the the rough ground doesn't matter as much, but if they were a phalanx, there would be a, a big concern there. So. I'm going to go ahead and just attack them. They're disordered. Um, so God knows like what good's going to come. But I think I can successfully kind of annoy everybody. Which is really what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to keep everybody annoyed. I can't believe I thought it was a good idea to put cataphracts in the freaking woods. It, that's some little league, bush league stuff, so sorry about that guys. Alright, just keep on trying to scare these guys. Good, disrupted. And then, yeah, I'll just keep on doing it. Cool. Alright, now you guys, um, I would love these javelin men to be the weakest so they fall the quickest. Um, these guys are going to be my sacrificial lamb to first see if there's anything over there, which there is not. And then also... Cool. Yeah, so let's just keep them here. And move these guys up here.
excellent. Alright, and then the javelin men can be back there. Because someone's gonna break here, and I'm gonna need to to protect the flanks of the phalanx. And I don't know if break means that they break break and start riding, or if they just get pushed back. Um, but either way, I don't want to worry about um, what that would do to my line quite yet. This actually feel good. Um, so the distance right here is two squares apart by the looks of it, which means that I can move up there without charging them. I'm going to be on higher ground still for at least like part of it. And the best part is that the legionnaires on the side will be stuck like in my zone of control. Um, so they wouldn't be able to kind of move back and try to flank me. So that means I would set this. Yeah. Javelin men fighting. These guys are just kind of sacrificial lambs. This right flank is not in a good position. But if I can roll the if I can roll the left faster. So let's get these plants into position. So what I was saying is basically if I move up here, this guy is stuck. He can't move. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna just move everybody up two spots. Oh shoot, I did not think about... Okay, good. It's still steady. It's not a crazy hill, so they're fine. So, and it's... Yeah, okay, good. This isn't a steep hill. Um, if it was a steep hill, I would be severely disordered and in some serious trouble. But because it's not, I'm okay. Um, so I'm going to move these javelin men over here. So I'm going to start bringing them over to help reinforce my right flank, which is unfortunately woefully undermanned. I, I made a pretty serious error, I guess. And uh, so we're going to attack them. That should be good. Now let's kind of evade everybody. Hopefully he'll attack somebody. Oh, even better. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> I don't see how that could have gone better. Wow, that's wonderful. So you know what I'm doing. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then you guys, let's um, let's get them just out of range of those. All right, more of the same. And then let's just shoot some more of these legionnaires. So he's basically going to be stuck into combat with me and my cavalry is going to be running free on that side. Excellent. Alright, now for this side. This is a little more stupid. So I kind of have to just attack here. He's going to lose the initial charge because we're in the freaking woods, um, but he's going to win the battle. So I just feel pretty stupid. Um, hopefully, yeah, okay, I don't think it'll last too long. And same as these slingers, I'm gonna lose the first battle, but I'm gonna win the long term. And, oh god, did I not, did I not just say? Um, anyway, so these horde churches are gonna be a problem, but I think that if I can get them to route here, then I'll be in an okay position. Perfect. It's weird, the game feels a little slower. It did update, um, so there's been some changes since the, the new update. Um, pretty small. I just let sit that uh, we routed that horse archer, but I'm very pleased about that. Um, but the update allows a couple of cool things. One of them is you can actually view the battlefield after, ooh, dispersed, nice. Um, that horse archer just dispersed, so we don't have to worry about them popping back. Um, actually hold that other thought I was talking about the patch um, because I moved my um, I don't know because I moved my units up there um, it meant that 
those Slack Legionnaires had no choice but to attack me. And then, of course, as soon as they attacked me, they pushed me back. So big pain in the butt. I'm going to lose a lot of these initial engagements with the Legionnaires because they're often the superior force. Um, but the advantage I have is that I'm at the top of the hill, they're not. Um, or I have longer spears and they don't. So hopefully that will will make a difference because otherwise I'm going to be disrupted and pushed back and my whole line's just falling apart. So I almost hope these guys get pushed back, to be honest. Like, it'll keep the line together. And they didn't, so... Wonderful. Uh, but anyway, so the patch lets you look around the battlefield, did some quality of life, helped some things. Um, but I have noticed that my performance has changed a bit. And I'm not entirely sure why, but... Um, I don't think it's that big of an issue. I think it's more of something on my end that I might have uh, jacked up <laughs> instead of the game changing something. All right. Yeah, battles between horse archers and javelin horses are consistently stupid. It's one of those things where you're just kind of asking yourself why? Like, why would they do that? Why would I charge? Um, because the, the benefit of your troops isn't in these charges. Okay, good, fragmented. Because now, all of a sudden, the sub-general here, Sertorius Pascianus, or, or whatever his name was, I didn't get a chance to see the end of it, is hanging out here. Pascentius. Well, that may be. But now I have to turn my troops and hope that they hold, because i got to kill those guys. Alright, now first of all, kill these slingers. Okay, good. Slingers hurt. You guys have total freedom in the back here. So I think what makes sense is there's no one here to help them. All the cavalry are moved up. And I'm going to win any long-term engagement here, so I'm doing it. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Because as soon as these guys are out, all of a sudden I've got a horse in the back of um, their area. Okay, so that's stupid. Zero to twelve. See, like these archers aren't super great. These are legionnaires. They're pretty heavily armored. Um, you know, it's not like I'm expecting much to be done. But there's nobody else I can shoot at from this flank anymore because they're kind of routing a little. So it is what it is. Now this, I'm a little less sure what to do. So if I attack these legionnaires, I will lose. If I use my... I will lose, possibly. I will lose. Chances are high for losing. Jesus. All right, well, okay. However, what happens if I attack the horse archers with the javelin horse? Oh, I'm gonna win. Okay, let's just do that. Oh my god, remember how I said I would win? Annoying. Okay, anyway. It's probably all the freaking uh, woods around here. Woods are just confusing everybody. Including all of my cataphracts, which are still inexplicably, inexplicably over here. So because of this guy, I gotta move my units over here and make them slightly less severely disordered. Um, there's a good chance I'm gonna win this one, though. Should have really done that one first because if they break, you know, they would have checked, blah blah blah. Okay, well at least they're routing. Interesting. Well they're impetuous, so I'll give them that. And at least I protect my flank. And now these guys are gonna be open to attack. Um, but I'm gonna actually call that good for this turn. I don't trust anything in terms of my land's ability to hold at all, so it's going to be really crucial for me to route these left-wing nonsense guys and just attack everybody from the flank or the rear, because um, there's going to be a lot of checks. I have heavy enough cavalry. I just kind of my line's point, like of like what is it raison d'état or whatever the phrase is, is just to not break 
Um, so if they start breaking, that's a problem. And I mean, all these guys are not being very helpful. Okay. Good. So them charging. Sorry, I bumped the mic there. Um, oh my god. Oh my gosh, finally. Okay, well that just helps my uh, left wing all the more. My cavalry is stronger, but I need, um, like, I really need to be able to, um, like, bring them out of the woods. <laughs> it's pretty simple. They look good, though. Ah, oh, thankfully, someone lost. Okay, good. Falling back. Good. It's just like the, oh my god, they're gonna break. God. It's, you know, the way the luck would have it in terms of the whole, uh, um, the, the units on the wing are the ones that are dead soonest, like, routing. It's so dumb. I like how I talk trash about the Slack Legionnaires. Oh, and they're the ones that actually broke the first unit on my line, and I was talking trash about them, and now all of a sudden I have a huge problem on my hand. So, lovely. Alright, good. These javelin men can go on fighting forever. I'm not going to waste a cavalry uh, charge on them. Okay, so um, because these guys can attack from multiple ways, we're going to a square. Uh, it's the safest thing to do. Now I'm going to shoot them twice because I want them to feel in danger. Because they are, because I have no choice but to flank charge here. Hopefully they will um, kind of pay for the problem. So they're disrupted, so that went well. Um, let's see, how would this go if I push? I think it's worth the attempt. Okay, whatever. Now, still gonna lose too easily. You are currently chasing those slingers into the woods. These guys aren't going to last for long um, if everything goes my way. Mm. These are tempting engagements, but I don't really want to risk it. Um, now this is one that I'm going to need to continue to figure out what I want to do. With the cavalry, I'm going to keep on fighting. With you, let's just go ahead and move these guys here. Oh yeah. Out of the woods, my friend. They're definitely gonna lose if they attack. So it's hard because I'm gonna lose against them, but I'll win against them, so I'm gonna charge there. And then we're also going to attack the other archers because I'm gonna make want to make sure that I can hold these guys off for a little bit and gosh this is uh, I guess I can fight these guys <laughs> you know this battle isn't going well at all What I should have done, I think, is make my line smaller, or, you know, make my line less wide. Um, and then actually have 
had more troops in the back to go help fill in the gaps. Um, you know, I had left my javelin men here in the center of the line to help in case something went wrong, but it's clear that they're actually more needed over here. Because they are about to break entirely through and just roll up my line. Um, unless these guys can lose their combat and then they can get pushed back to here, in which case that solves everybody's problem. Um, at the beginning I got rid of the scythe chariots. I just hate scythe chariots. They're not really good. Um, and I don't know if it's a bug or what, but they also disperse like halfway through battles pretty typically, even though they're in good order, haven't lost many troops if any. Um, and so I think that's just not something great. And also look at this hill, like a, a chariot in this, are you kidding me? Um, so that was my sense there. Okay, so I got that going. Well, that worked out for me. Alright, hopefully this phalanx doesn't um, give at all. <laughs> Those siege weapons are so stupid. I know they're really bad for morale, but god they're stupid. Good, finally someone died. Or like lost. Oh, that's the commander in chief too. That's excellent. What I'd love to have is a general fallen alert. That would be excellent. Um, but I doubt that that will be the case. Alright. Finally disrupted. Almost. Excellent. Fragmented. So these guys are going to definitely route. Um, maybe not after one combat, but two for sure. I'm in a good position here. It's hard because it's really like the first... As far as I can tell, it seems like the first unit to get disrupted is often going to be the one that falters. Um, unless you can you know, bring in another troop to, to help it. So let's just continue what we're doing here. I think they're going to stay fragmented, yeah. Um, but hopefully one more and we're good. Um, so these guys are still in the square, but these two are both engaged. And we're going to win this engagement, so I'm going to leave the square to help. Um, still too likely to lose. I am going to move these guys further up. But the chances of losing that initial engagement are too high, so that's why I'm not actually going ahead and doing that. My crappy javelin men are going to come here. These uh, three of four eye or whatever are going to come over here. Chances of losing are still very high. However, it's kind of a crapshoot as to who could win or not win um, that engagement. So, evidently the AI didn't like their chances, so they risked um, retreating, which is great because that just freed up all of this. And this cavalry is going to clear this guy out and then all of a sudden be able to help sweep in and cover these guys. So, come on. And my archers are going to beat these archers. Great. Only problem is these javelin horses. Is, um, these javelin horses will be a problem, but we'll deal with that as time goes by. Um, you. Someone's bound to not be engaged. Oh, hello. Oh, too much. And I will kill eight. Or six, that's fine. Yeah. Alright, well at least these troops are now um, formed. 
able to turn. All right, this is a big one. Okay, not the best way to start it, but they held firm. Really holding firm is all I can ask for. I mean, honestly, if... Oh, God, another one. Um, if this pike failing at the side wants to, to hold firm but fall back, that'd be great, because then all of a sudden this cavalry will be able to flank every Roman over there. I feel like Jeb, I'm just like, please die. Alright, so it's funny, I have these Roman uh, imitation legionaries rather, and they're actually holding up pretty well, so lesson learned. But this is what happens when you don't choose your own troops, and I like to think I'm good enough at this game to be able to manage, the, you know, without that. Um, but maybe not. Oh, good. That loss might have been what I needed in order to to turn the battle there. All right, excellent. Okay, even better. Disrupted. <laughs> yes. Yes, excellent. <laughs> that made me really happy. <laughs> I wonder who this guy's gonna shoot next. Probably that phoenix on the corner. Yep. Those poor guys, they're just getting rocked. But can you blame them? Ah, oh, more Slack Legionnaires. Good. Yeah, there's that rally. That's why I didn't move him closer. I want him to just kind of get a chance to chill, see if the line isn't breaking. Um, I haven't really looked into the mechanics of how it works. I should, but... Alright, those guys aren't coming back. That's what that tells me. Excellent. So maybe one or two more engagements and we're good. Please rout. Perfect. Oh wow, they're not chasing him. That's excellent. So all of a sudden, these two units are going to be free to swing into the right. Maybe I'll bring it. Oh good. Breaking behind the lines. Bold move. Bold move. Perfect. I got more. Cool. Push back. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to complain if the, the first result of that. Um, so I, I think I'm going to win this engagement um, as long as I'm not pushed back right away. Good. Alright, so apparently they just went and straight up attacked those guys, so stupid, but not entirely unexpected. Um, I'm just going to move my archers back here because I don't know what else to do. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to attack them, those guys, because they're, well, they are light troops, but whatever. So let's just move these cavalry units over here so I can cause some havoc. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm feeling confident on this side, and this uh, long battle between these poor guys is going to go on forever. So there's that. I don't like my odds, so I'm not going to push him. I do like my odds here. I want to kill this general. Okay. And perfect. Oh, they are chasing him. That's too bad. Um, well, hopefully they don't chase him for long, because then you know where this guy's going. Straight to Manius Aquilius. All right. Now, you Roman legionaries, please die. Mm, not good enough. Um, you guys, why don't you move here? I'm hoping they just kind of hang out. Or they attack these guys on the hill, and I can use my disrupted troops to, I don't know, do some good. 
And uh, because I'm engaged with them, I'm not worried about this guy running forward. And they broke. Perfect. Alright. And is that disrupted I see? That is. Perfect. Heck yes. Excellent. Alright, so these guys are really not doing well. Now, where were we? getting a, 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 a call from work after work hours, but that's fine. Um, sorry for that distraction. The good thing is, it's their turn, so I'm not just sitting around doing nothing. on a good position. I fell back, darn. I was hoping they would stay there and route, but you can't always get what you want. Okay. Um. All right. I'm taking a risk, but I want to do it. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to flank charge the commander in chief rather than these guys, because I think I've gotten covered. Please die, General. Please die. Nope, not even close. That's fine. <laughs> Alright. These guys are getting pretty jacked up. So I think the chances of me being able to break them are, are very high. Mm, not this turn. Okay. I'm not going to mess with those guys. It's not going to hit my flank when they attack back, and these guys are going to be free, so let's do that. I'm going to lose that long term. However, survey says this is a good call, and they're also no longer disrupted, so that's helpful, and now they are, so how do you feel about that? All right, now you guys move over here. You go over here. Because you gotta help these guys out. 
And then what I'm going to do is just slowly turn and use them to swing around the side there. And you know what? I'm just going to... They're disrupted. They're not doing too great. I'm just going to shoot some of these guys. There. It's a little things. Alright, well... I can't really um, do much because my archers don't do much. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to start shooting these guys. Because, I mean, why not? Well, killed one. So, excellent strategy. Oops, accidentally shifted the whole shebang. But whatever, let's look at it from the Roman side. Why not? Um, and it's actually good because I didn't see that these guys were about to break. Um, they're about to fall back, rather. Well, good. That will be next turn to see what happens. So that's what I love about this game, though. There's lots of, like, pushes and pulls and falling back and pushing forward and um, my center almost entirely breaking right there. Um, but that's why I have other troops around. <laughs> Please don't chase them. Okay, looking good. Look good, this guy's up the map. So I have a 20% advantage now, numerically. Um, I just have to get another 20% to route, and I'm good. Um, this, you know, provided I don't lose a lot of my other troops. I was playing another game, and um, it's kind of the, the rule that I clicked through at the beginning is basically like if you have 40% and you have, um, you know, more of your troops intact, at least, you know, no less than 25%, um, you're good. But um, kind of the issue that... I was having with that battle was that I was at 60% and 60%, so all of a sudden I was fighting everybody, um, and I really needed just to, to be the first one to end the whole campaign thing over um, 60%. So I wanted to say, like, okay, I'm at 60, but during this turn, you know, some other group routed, and now the enemies lost 60 some percent, like 62. Well, the general just fragmented. Um, but I lost to... I'm, and that was against the Romans in a, a custom battle. So I'm kind of worried. Because I was winning like this. And then they beat down one of my... Um, kind of the center of my line fell apart. They were able to roll up an entire flank. And so the situation was really similar. And that's what makes me a little nervous. Um, but I do think I'm in a good, a, a good position right now. If I lose, it's going to be 100% my fault. Um, not good. Routing and disrupting that entire side. And these guys auto broke. Great. I hate what Jasmine in. <laughs> Necessary, but, but stupid. Alright, so let's figure this out. Um, first of all, these guys are no longer anywhere um, so because this whole section is really bad I'm gonna move them oh, I accidentally just I didn't even click to see how many they could kill I don't know I just kind of want to piss off these guys more than anything um, I don't think I'm gonna do anything they're not gonna route but just kill one at a time I guess um, I'm going to win this engagement here. And I just don't want to reinforce anybody over here. Um, plus, there's a good chance I can get them to route. So let's just keep that the way it is. Um, I'm still going to win this engagement. My cavalry is better. They're engaged with someone else. And, um, you know, it'll be fine. And then likewise here. I just want to kind of scare these guys off. Because the last thing I need is a whole bunch of light troops attacking my cavalry as I'm about to help hold this side of the, the line together. So while uh, these guys are doing that, okay, um, interesting. Let's just move you up here, keep you, and then let's turn you guys this way. 
Actually, you know what? I regret that. Let's undo. And let's just go straight so that way they can, you know, flank move anybody. These guys are in bad, bad position. Um, unless I can get these guys to get pushed back. Nope. Okay. Bad position it is. However, you know who's in a bad position? Manius Aquilius. Please route. Okay, good. General's not dead, but I'll allow it. Oh, flank attack. Perfect. Okay. Anyway, if people are wondering how entire lines can go up in a minute, that's how. Um, so, wonderful. And I haven't attacked yet, so all of a sudden, these guys are in very good shape. Please route? No, not yet. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so last thing I gotta do is get these Roman legionnaires to realize that resistance is futile and it's time to die. They are strong. It's like they're gonna auto break before they're gonna actually break anywhere else, you know? Um, let's just move this warband up to be a pain. I don't really feel comfortable attacking anybody else at this stage. Um, so, okay. Let's call it good. They're at 34%. There's a chance I'm going to win. If some of these routes really take off, um, there's a chance that this is it. Because let's face it, their, their right, my left, is totally destroyed. Um, and then my cavalry is making good work of their other troops. Also, their general is running for his life currently. And it seems very unlikely that he's going to be able to recover. Excellent. Their archers might break, um, break mine though. I'm kind of hoping I can chase the uh, various light infantry, whatever, missile, horse, whatever, off the map and just kind of call it, <laughs> you know, break even that way. Oh, good, good. Finally, they disrupted. And that might be it for them. Yep, it is. Interesting. I mean, that's not the worst place for the cavalry to go, I guess. Yeah, they're at 39%. If I can get someone to break, I'm good. I would kind of like one more turn to Oh, no, that's it. They're, they auto broke. Yeah. So I killed half of them, and I would submit that that is it for the Romans. Their entire line's destroyed, they're surrounded by pikes on the right, and this side of the line, oh, yep, they're done. I've got cavalry in the back. They're going to charge the rear next turn if uh, the game even lets me. Wow, this is good. Yeah, everything is going not Rome's way. Even if I lose this combat, it's not going to matter. Oh, and see? Even better. And I rallied. Excellent. Okay, I was wondering about that. Wow. Yeah, there's no way. They're done. <laughs> okay, that was good. Um, so this is what's nice. You can actually look around. Um, let's go to Review Battlefield. So I can go in and see like what went well, what didn't. Um, so I do wish you could just kind of play it out to its logical conclusion, but I get that this is a campaign. And so, you know, if you're just barely winning and you're going to fight the Romans later or something. Um, so yeah, these guys had already lost quite a few of their troops. Um, they had already lost 200 and uh, it's pretty clear what's going to happen next. I'm going to about face and all of a sudden they're getting stabbed. My cavalry here would have the entire... Um, wing open here so they'd charge these guys would route immediately and then um, 
these Roman legionnaires who are routing wouldn't be able to do anything um, but run because my cavalry is chasing. Cavalry is open here. These guys are dead. So good victory. Good victory. So that could have gone really badly, but that turning point really came. Um, so last time I talked trash about the Slack Legionnaires, I guess. Um, excellent. I feel pretty good about this. So I successfully moved on to the next stage. After your victory, the remaining invaders were easily mopped up. Yeah, yeah, they were. Uh, my armies went on to take over all of Asia Minor and advanced into Greece where you pose as liberators. However, the Roman counterattack has arrived under Lucius Cornelius Sulla and battle is imminent. Um, the good part is I don't actually have to um, drop any units into the um, cities because it's been in a couple of years. It's 86 BC now. But that's where I'm going to call it good. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll be back next time with the next stage and another battle against the Romans who are back and not very pleased. Thanks. Have a good one.